summers, ample farmland boasts plenty of restful views. In fact, 10% of Massachusetts farmland is in Hampshire County, 52,000 acres on 540 farms. The soil here is very special. The Connecticut River was actually a lake during the last ice age, and when the glacier receded, it kind of naturally tilled up the bottom of the lake, which has all that organic matter, deposited on either side of the river where they now farm. Some people say it's some of the best soil for farming in the United States. Debra Christakos is a former chef turned founder of Pioneer Valley Food Tours, which highlights local and specialty foods. It is not your typical food community where there's a high level of competition. They work together and like a rising tide lifts all boats. So we make a lettuce mix out of baby kale. One certified organic farm grows crops rarely seen in New England. Ginger and turmeric are specialties at Old Friends Farm in Amherst, run by old friends Missy Barrett and Casey Steinberg. Not only are the products local, but they're winning awards all across the country. They're really outstanding products. Ginger and turmeric, which flourish in tropical climates, grow slowly in these unheated tents. Despite the time and maintenance, Steinberg says these crops are good for business and the environment. We're trying to grow a crop that otherwise we would import it from thousands and thousands of miles away. We could fill these houses with tomatoes much faster, but there's lots of tomatoes in the valley. So by choosing unrepresented crops, we're not stepping on our neighbor's toes. For thousands of years across Asia and the Middle East, ginger and turmeric have been used as spices and in herbal medicines. So this is our ginger here. We plant it in April. We just started digging. Pharmacina right. Ah. right here. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And the mother root grew young ginger off of it. Is the young ginger still edible? Or yeah, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. There it says grocery stores often carry mature ginger with coarse, fibrous skin. Younger ginger is juicier and more fragrant. This is even better. So why are we getting this stuff? Well, it stores better. I'm gonna take my mask off for a second because I need to smell this up close. Oh, it's so good. Turmeric originated in India. Its bright orange color can stain and is sometimes used to dye fabric. This is a good one, it's heavy. You can see the new turmeric is just starting to form here. Old Friends Farm infuses honey with turmeric, black pepper, and apple cider vinegar. Sure is tasty, oh my goodness. Steinberg likes adding their concoctions to tea, mixed drinks, or seltzer. This is ginger syrup, our ginger, organic cane sugar, and a little organic lemon. Mm. Both so good. Yeah, it's nice to be able to make your own ginger ale yeah. or your own, and just like know where the flavor is actually coming from. To satisfy our rumbling stomachs, Christakos brings us to the Inn on Boltwood, a striking landmark on the Amherst Common, built in 1926. I don't know where to begin. Where do we start? The Inn's restaurant, 30 Boltwood, has a menu spilling over with local products, from beer and wine to cheese and charcuterie. They have a carrot puree over here, and then they have the pickled garlic, also local. These greens are from Old, Old Friends, Friends Farm. Farm. That's yep, amazing. So we were just walking through all of that. And I believe it's tossed with a honey vinaigrette. This luxurious spread includes roasted beet salad with citrus and pistachios, broccoli rob with farro, garlic, and shallots, pan-seared salmon with jicama and radish slaw and red rice. We have here Berkshire pork chop, and that comes from Northeast Family Farms, and it is sitting on a bed of braised local beans and kale. For dessert, brown sugar panna cotta with poached apples. Cristaco says her food tours emphasize the obvious, Local food is good food. That is bursting with flavor. Oh, good. That's the difference wow. when you get it right from the farms, the farms that are steps away. Delicious. Oh. Cheers to Amherst. Thank you. It was good. Deborah can only take up to six people on her tours because of COVID. As for Old Friends Farm, they also make and sell spice blends and teas using their turmeric and ginger. They also grow flowers and all kinds of fruits and vegetables. Coming up, a trip down memory lane with my old swim coach.